Hello everyone, hello racers. Racers Project Cars 2 again, a career mode. Back to tier 5. Tier 5, uh, Formula C, round 2. Uh, it's, built, it's going to be quite interesting because uh, I haven't had a chance to race on Streets of Monaco. And that what the next round is, a uh, race in streets of Monaco. Uh, not really sure what to expect from that, especially that I'll be driving an open wheel there. Uh, that sounds scary. Uh, I'm going to keep the same opponent's skill level as on the previous race, the same aggression. I don't want to have them too aggressive on the streets of Monaco. So let's go to the practice um, and let's see how I can do on this very technical, very narrow track, which doesn't allow for any mistakes. A small mistakes usually means hitting the wall and destroying the car. Um, I don't have any set. So I'm just going to take the stable set here. I don't know what it is. Probably some fuel changes. I don't expect any other changes. To actually, there's plenty of fuel here. Way too much. Uh, just get rid of some of that. Put it 15 liters. Let's save that. Let's do a few laps, or at least let's try to do a few laps. Go, go, go. Pit limiter. Remember Post to take close. it easy on these tires because you get some heat in them. Don't push too hard too early. Quite dark here. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Monaco. I don't know the truck at all. And um, and then I don't know, you know, when to brake, when to start accelerating, what are the good speeds for the corners. But this is going to be really interesting. Not having a car in front of me should help a little bit as well, because uh, when I have a car in front, I try to mimic the AI behavior. Cold tires, cold brakes. I'm locking wheels a lot. I'll do a small adjustment. Trying to look at the wheel and drive a car, okay? I made a small adjustment to my uh, load cell. So it's a bit harder. That should Stop me locking the wheels. As it usually is with Project Cars 2, I forgot to switch on my dashboard, so I'll try try to do it right now.
just to have a good overview of the tire temps and brakes temperatures. I'm not a big fan of this truck. I actually don't. Re I, I don't like uh, Monaco. I don't like to watch races there. They really boring in 99% of all cases. And I don't like to race on the truck as well. I don't think it has much to offer. Obviously it's famous. Being famous doesn't make it a great race truck. Slow down to get rid of the warning. Really hot, 56 uh, degrees Celsius at the moment on the racetrack itself. So at least it's not too hard to keep the tire temps. Some good wrench. They're not perfect, but they're not too bad. if I'll be able to achieve a time oh, which will give me any chance of fighting I'm breaking way too late there that was a long warning took some time to get rid of it When it comes to the street trucks or street racing circuits, I prefer the American, I think it's Long Beach, right? That much more interesting. That's why they're. I'm first! Even though I had to slow down there, but of course I cut that corner, so it's not really that fair. Even though I had to slow down, I probably gained some time, so let's just try to do it properly this time. Because that didn't feel right. Second slower than the last time, wow, that's a lot. Another hit. Suspension damage. Oh Hold yeah, that's a horrible needed. one. There's a huge time difference. I can only guess this is because of that cut I did. So I return to the big box. I'll drive again. I'll try to do a clean lap without cutting to see how my time actually compares to AI's time. If the difference will be still quite big. I will increase the difficulty for the call. Let's try to drive behind someone to see how I compare to them. Hold tires again. The difference cold and warm tires is huge. 
that's what I like about the cars too for they really did a great job of implementing this differences between you know cold warm tires cold warm brakes Braking on cold tires is uh, uh, sorry, braking on cold brakes can be a nightmare. Not sure where should I start braking here. I don't want to go to pit. I don't really care if it's occupied or not. Oh, oh sorry, you don't have to wait in line. And how is it that with 22 cars, my P is being occupied? Oh, a teammate currently, yes, of course. There's a bit of fighting with the car in its lower corners. The tires are still cold, but they have a better time than they had when I was leaving the pit stop. Oh, that's. That was horrible. I'm surprised the car isn't. Uh, it's horribly damaged. Uh, learning. Wow, what was that? Learning that. Cześć, Niedział. W poniedziałek wolny. Można trochę pograć, co? No ja ci też coś potestuję. Przypuszczalnie Bentleyka. Zobaczymy. Najpierw chcę trochę Project Cars pchnąć do przodu tą karierę, bo długo nie grałem. A sporo tego jest do objeżdżenia w tej grze. Niestety przypadł mi w udziale dzisiaj taki niezbyt sympatyczny tor, jakim jest Monaco. Nie bardzo go lubię. Mało tu ścigania, a więcej procesji. I hit the wall. Interesting. It's really good to see that they can make mistakes too. Not like I did this time. Luckily no damage.
I locked the wheels, unfortunately. Driving behind another car means losing the aero effect, especially in the front splitter. That definitely wasn't a good time. almost the whole lock of the wheel to go through those hairpins I was breaking a bit too late to that corner to the chicane I'll have to increase the difficulty because I improved the time even without cutting and I'm first with uh, around a second advantage over the second. Couldn't stop in time here. Uh, the rear brakes are still quite cold. The front are just good enough. Okay, I'm going to go to the pit box. I'm going to skip the qualification. And then I'm going to continue the qualifying. Uh, 1.1, almost 1.2 seconds quicker, so I'm going to exit. And I will increase the difficulty a little bit. Um, maybe to 89. Let's try that. Okay, qualification, I'm going to load that setup I prepared, this is just a difference in the fuel, nothing else. Let's see if we can <coughs> qualify for pole position, which will be crucial on this racetrack. Again, cold tires, cold brakes. We have to be a bit more careful in that first lap. Mm. 
particularly dark, that truck. A lot of shadow. Yeah, plenty of shadows in some of the corners and the uh, braking points, so it's really hard to tell where I'm driving. <laughs> or where and when should I stop braking. Now I'm having problem finding a braking point here. Increased difficulty for the qualification. We'll see if I didn't rise it too much. It's much colder than it was during the practice. 39 degrees on the track. I was 58, I think, previously. Really hard to warm up the tires now. They were already ready for the lap two in the previous uh, in the previous session. Now they're still around 50 degrees, which is really cold for racing tires. And here's the result of that. I'm going to restart the session and I'll try again. You know how hard it is to overtake around here, it is critical we have pole position. Exactly, that's what I was talking about. I'll try to warm up the uh, brakes artificially, but basically driving on the brake, even on the straights while accelerating. Oh, I cannot do it anymore because of a car behind me. I think it's my teammate actually.
really bit time, but this is lap two and my tires are still super cold and I'm not able to warm them up. One minute 44, while well, I was doing one minute 41 during the practice session. The problem is I know that AI won't be affected by that and even though they were doing slower time than me, 1 minute 42, they will be still doing 1 minute 42 here. And a mistake, another one. Luckily no damage. I have no grip whatsoever. And even though I'm driving a bit faster than last time. It's still way too slow for any good time. That would be probably around 43. That puts me on 12th position at the moment. Well, at least I'm not last. But on Monaco it means... I won't be able to win starting from 12th. And there's just 10 laps. And there would be a lot of risk involved in the first corner, the first lap, starting from 12th position. At least I put some heat in the front tires now. The rears are still cold. improvement again. Maybe it will put me in the first tenth now, that small improvement. Second! Okay, that's not bad. I have a good temperature in all four tires now. It's not perfect, especially the rear is just above the optimal. Or just above the minimum optimal range, 72 degrees. And I manage to improve again in sector one, a little bit at least. My water temperature is quite high and I can see a damage to engine because of that, but this is just a call, so let's use that extra Maybe not power, but we have uh, less drag thanks to a bigger opening of that uh, radiator.
bit of a slide there. The rear end escaped me a little bit and this is still second. Oh, whoa, 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 and that's, that's over. The damage is too big. Uh, I'm going to return pit box. And even with the improved time, I was still 246 thousandths of a second behind the nail Hopwood, who's first at the moment. So there is a huge gap to the third one. Uh, it's around a second, a little bit less than a second, to Herbert Waller, who's third. So the first AI bot has a huge advantage over the rest of them. Um, let's compare the times in the sectors. I'm a bit slower in the first one. That's actually where uh, where I'm losing majority of the time. Uh, I'm a bit slower in the second one. Actually, I'm even more slower in the second one than the first one. But then I'm gaining a little bit in the third sector. Okay, it is what it is. We have a little bit less than five minutes left uh, in the qualification. I won't be driving anymore in the qualification. I'm just checking my fuel usage. It's 1.1 liter average per lap. If this is a 10 lapper, I haven't actually doubled. I need to double check just before the start, but that means that 11 liters of fuel should be enough 12 to be safe I think I have 15 for that set I was actually driving on a not on my setup so what I'm on the fuel I had in my car in liters that's okay I'm going to load that one that's 15 liters that's what I'm going to keep uh, it won't make much difference uh, I should open the radiator a bit more, just to get a bit more cooling for the race. Uh, interesting, because the temperature rised quite a lot. When we, when I was starting, it was below 40, it's 58 now. Uh, anyway, let's save it and let skip to end. I'm not going to wait another three minutes. Okay, I kept that uh, second position. The third one improved a little bit, but that first one was much, much better. Uh, I'm going to continue to race. We're going to keep the settings for the AI when it comes to difficulty and aggressiveness, and we will see. Okay, we've got 15 liters, 57 degrees on track, so it's quite warm. Shouldn't be a problem to keep that higher temp. Uh, they will be warm because of the uh, warmers, the blankets. Unfortunately with those open wheels, a small torch like that means usually that it's over. Oh, horrible start. Wow, that was a huge cut from him. He should give that position back. That's a great start, mate. He's going on the outside, and he will have inside to the next corner. I had a better, better exit, but the braking here on the cold tires is very risky. But I managed, and I'm keeping the first one here. And what I meant was cold brakes, not cold tires. Of course, the tires are warm because of the warm blankets. Well, it's Monaco. I need to be more focused. Uh, Monaco doesn't allow for a single mistake. One second, try and extend the gas if you can. We need a bit more buffer.
so easy to lock wheels with this uh, Formula C cars. They should have so much uh, aero grip, and they do, but as soon as the speed drops, the aero grip gets smaller and smaller, and the only thing I'm relying on is the mechanical grip. And And it's so easy to lock. Okay, I extended the gap to 1.6 seconds now. Gives me a bit of a briefing room, but doesn't change the fact that a small mistake on the track means uh, end of race. I touched the wall there, but just a little bit. Did not have any impact on the uh, on the car damage, car performance, anything like that. So I don't have to worry about this. Great driving, mate. That's the fastest second sector time so far. Three laps done, seven laps to go. The advantage of 2.4 seconds based on the dashboard, 2.5 now. The game shows a little bit differently. I think the dashboard has the real life data. Why the data shown in the left lower corner here on the screen is probably based on some kind of points on the racetrack. Oh, that was heartbreaking. I locked the wheels and uh, barely stopped there in time.
the advantage stays at around two seconds, nothing less, nothing more. I don't want to risk too much driving faster. I'd rather keep that P1 with a small advantage than trying to increase it to higher values because there's no really point. Uh, even if you can catch me, overtaking on this racetrack is really hard. So I can defend for the rest of the race as long as I don't make any stupid mistakes which would cause me to hit the wall lap 6 out of 10 so we Up for the race. That's the fastest first sector time. That was the mistake I was talking about. Breaking to that corner is a pain for me for some reason, and I make mistakes there. I drop two. Fifth position. And I don't think I'll be able to do anything about this on this racetrack. And I cannot even stop for some reason. Driving behind another car means losing the additional grip, which comes from the aero. which is horrible at higher speeds. It also influenced the braking. AI is waving their left to right, I'm not sure why. I, even here, losing that arrow, I cannot keep in that corner of the speed I was keeping in before. I have no technological advantage like Fire some teams in Formula pressure. 1. Come on, keep at him. You're gonna get past him. I don't know what happened here, my car just didn't turn. I didn't gain or lose a position there, so I can just stay where I was. And I think I have to accept a defeat here on this track, so I will be fifth if nothing changes. There are still three more laps to go. After a good start at Garf and winning the first round, it was looking good for me here at Monaco as well. But not this time. I have to wait for my first win at Monaco a bit longer.
two laps to go. Oh, oh my gosh. That was totally my mistake. I'm having a front air damage. I think that's one of those races you want to forget as quickly as possible. Didn't have such a bad race in a long time. Let's try to deliver that fifth position and still staying where I was. I have a bit of suspension damage in the left wheel, left front. And a lot of aero damage in front. On a truck which heavily relies on the aero. I wouldn't cry there was Monza. Oh. Which is on the opposite spectrum to Monaco. And there are two trucks I don't really like. losing time. One more lap to go. Let's hope we can stay in the fifth. It's not perfect. It was good for a few laps. But that's motor racing for us. For me and for those of you who are watching here. And as they say, shit happens. I'm locking, wheels. Never, I'm locking wheels on this hard braking because uh, I have that air, front aero damage. I'm having less grip in front and it's so much easier to lock these wheels. I'm also having problems with those fast corners without that aero. Oh. It's not a big problem in the slower ones. Okay, let's keep that inside secure so they cannot find a way to overtake me in the last corners. And I should be good. P5 at Monaco. Not the best results, could have been much better. But it is what it is. A cool down lap. We get that car to the pit stop for repairs before the next race. Round three. I'm not sure where the round three is actually. I haven't checked it.
<laughs> and I even managed to hit the wall here on the cooldown lap. Here we go, P5. It was so warm that my engine is at 76%, so 26% damage to the engine just because of the high temperatures. Uh, and I had the duct opening at 85%. I don't think that 15% would change much. Um, well, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, he also had the fast slap. And I think he had a position, so he'll get a full 27 points, I guess. Um, Still staying on first because of my good results in the first race, so at least that the gap is nine points, not too bad. Haven't checked the team uh, standings. Round three, it's Barcelona. Not a bad truck, actually quite a nice truck. Uh, as usually, I'm going to now lower the difficulty to 84 as our entry difficulty. Based on that, I'll decide if I need to increase or decrease. Well, at least we're out of the Monaco. Uh, this is actually a national version of the truck, not the GP. A car here. Why did they? That was unsafe release from my crew. Shouldn't happen. I shouldn't have happened. I should have said. Cold tires. Cold tires. How did I save it? I don't know, but I was lucky. Thirty-seven degrees truck temperature. There are some quick corners on Barcelona race truck, so hopefully it will help to warm up the tires. I had a very bad exit, I went there really wide, so he will overtake me, which is just fine, it's just practice, I need to learn the truck car combination. I don't even know where to stop braking here. The rear becomes really loose here in the first corner. The tires are still cold, 55 degrees is the Wow, really? Really, really? Brutalized by AI. Fighting with uh, a bit of oversteer and going wide right again. Let's get some slipstream and let's continue learning the truck.
I have a load cell at 40. 30 is what I normally drive with, like if I'm driving GT3 or cars like that. I increase it to make it a bit harder, but I'm still locking the wheels here on the hard braking. And, um, The brakes are super cold. I'm expecting a height of the quicker in those uh, fast corners. It's very busy in this racetrack, there's uh, there are cars all over the place. That was the first time I managed a semi-good exit from that last corner. But it wasn't perfect, obviously. I'm not sure how that AI is manage manages to break up so late and still manage to negotiate that turn quicker. But obviously this is just my fourth lap here, so... That would be a lot of learning. Whoa. Better to avoid that curb. Let's see if I can break as late as they do. Yeah, this time it was possible. But I lose the rear end of the car again. Or lost the rear end of the, of the car. Now avoid this curve here. I don't want to be overtaken here. AI drives there in the first corner like on race. Not something I can mimic. I think I lost in every single corner to that AI in front of me.
That was my best lap so far, but I'm still lost. My second gear instead of dropping to first. I think it's a better choice. I further put my time dropping to 115, but I'm still lost. It was unnecessary downshift to the first gear in that chicane, that's what costed me time, car balance in those corners and uh, speed at the exit. Second gear is a much better option, gives me a more stable approach, drive through the chicane and the exit. But I'm not able to improve my time.
unnecessary drop over the inside curb and the scarps in Project Cars 2 are really brutal. Destabilized the car, uh, had to counter steer, counter steer too much, went to the left. Let's compare the times. Uh, So I had 115, the fastest AI is 113, it's two seconds quicker than my best time. Seconds and six thousandths of a second. Uh, yeah, that is pointless to try to continue on the difficulty. I would have to spend countless hours just to learn the, the car and I'm not going to do it for a 10. Continue to qualifying. Let me try to do some good time. Easy on the outlap. Be especially careful with the tires, they're cold. Quite warm, uh, 32 degrees ambient temperature. And okay, let's make this one the pole time. Uh, it won't be possible to do a pole time with such a cold tires. I think I have to wait for another lap. Well, it won't be actually possible to do a pole time at all. I think they will be faster. I don't know how much faster, but they will be faster. If I can do P5, P6, I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll have to spend another lap or two warming up the tires. This is so much faster in that chicane here. Temperature, tired, the rest are still cold. Six at the moment, not too bad, I guess. But I'm still fighting with the lack of grip. The more AIs are uh, doing their lap times and dropping. Left hand side is now warm, 
the left front is really nice, 85 degrees. but my time was 116 which was really bad and it won't be any better now it was actually worse interesting enough a real a real ride is still cold doesn't help with the grip coming out of the slow corners I'm having, uh, at least it feels like I'm having more and more grip with this uh, higher temperatures on a lot of tires. The brakes are still cold though, 1 minute 15 seconds 199. My best time so far, overall all sessions. That curb is a killer, it stabilizes the car a lot. Seventh, it will be good to improve by a little bit, but this time a little bit slower than the previous lap. <coughs> Barely managed. But lost time there, so nothing special really. I think he'll be going to beat, He's driving quite slowly here. No, it's not. Oh, that lap was invalidated, and the next one as well, great. That's what I dream of. <sighs> was it was a good lap? Yeah, it was a good lap. 14.759, but it was invalidated, unfortunately for me. And this, uh, this one was invalidated as well.
other two laps invalidated. I did a mistake, and the mistake was stupid because I was on the first gear, I had to upshift to second. And it's a really bad place to do that. I'm not even sure why I went uh, that low to the first gear there. It's not necessary. Let's try to improve. 1.14.759 is the best time, but the time was invalidated. So if I can repeat that, I probably could jump a bit higher because there's plenty of car on strike now here. Which will make it all so much harder. They should let me go, I'm on the flying lap, they are on... Fuck sake. They're on out lap. But of course AI is not implemented to do that. I'm not programmed to do that, it doesn't have any such implementation. I'm slowing down to give myself some space, not to let you pass. Driving all over the place, crazy. Okay, maybe this time. Hopefully, there won't be more uh, cars coming out of the pits. Big log there from me. Slower at that stage in sector one. Whoa, it's a huge slide. Barely safe it. This is not going to be a good lap, obviously. Let's try again. I still got plenty of fuel and 1 minute 43 seconds left, so two more laps. I was super slow.
last chance. Still P7 at the moment. There was super slow lap for me. Small improvement, insignificant, I think. A bit better here. Nothing special, though. That's the sector three. I have to improve here. Stay within the truck limit. End of the session. You are the man. That pole position is the job. <laughs> Pole position in the last, on the last possible lap, barely 26 thousands of a second quicker than Mark Pressburg, who is second. That team, Horbsner Automotive, is quite strong. The drivers, and they would be in the first row if I, if I haven't uh, proved. Okay, let's move to race. I won't be changing the difficulty. It will be, I think, quite interesting at the difficulty. We'll see how it goes. Uh, another 10 laps as it is with this. Uh... Not a bad start, I guess. For some reason AI stays behind the first lap, but then they will catch up really quickly. I was gaining time till now, suddenly AI Good job, faster. that's a great start to the race. Keep it on the island and keep pushing. They're much better on breaking in the, to the first corner. They are much faster in that section, especially in this next chicane here. I've seen them overtaking me on the outside to the first corner of the chicane. I messed up the braking a lot. And I'm losing the game, and quickly, one tenth of a second, two tenths of a second, it's crazy. Okay, 
Aim for the guy behind us and try and make him pass. Think about defending. That's what I'm trying to do. Early staying in front of the second one. They're really fast in this race truck. And they're gaining again 0 0.3 seconds on the straight alone. That was a mistake driving over that curb. Just set your own personal best lap. Keep it and up. it's really bad lap in comparison to your AI. Good overall. Just try and extend that gap. I barely touched that curb and such a big slide. Let's defend the inside for that corner. It is not an easy race and for different reasons than the race at Monaco I had in round two. Better exit than they had. Gain some time, and then I'm losing it straight away on the straight. I will have to defend. No other choice but to defend here. He had no choice but to slow down there. Curbs, curbs, curbs. He hit me. <laughs> but it costed him a position or two. That hit didn't cause any damage, luckily. Avoided curve. And I'm losing time again on the street. Maybe start defending from the guy behind. Yeah. Not too far back. Lap make a move. Seven out of ten. Four more laps, including this one. And he, he hits me again. Bloody hell. What was that? What was he trying to do? One person damage to her, hopefully it's not nothing big.
going straight to the right hand side to prepare a defense. I only have a half a second advantage here, less now 0 0.4. I have to break early because I have less space to negotiate the corner going from the inside. Managed to defend it. Very small gap, 0 0.5, and it's dropping already. I don't want to give him a slipstream because even without it, he will be catching with me really quickly. I'll be going to the middle here. I break in time, I'm trying to defend, and I'm able to defend again. Lap 9th out of 10. I'm curious how they manage all the grip in those fast corners. I want to remind everyone that they're driving on a default set, so they cannot modify their setups. That's how much bullshit it is, really. They have way too much grip. They are at difficulty 45 for the race. Okay, we've got some pressure from behind. Start thinking about defending your line. Driving over the curb wasn't a good idea. Lap 9 out of 10. Last lap. Final I was to defend the for the lap. last few corners. It's the mainly the first corner here. The last Keep pushing into the line. Okay, I managed to break. Will I manage to stay? Yep. They will gain a lot here. I was way too slow there, but I'm having I'm having the inside for the first corner of the chicane. Now the breaking here. They stayed behind a little bit. I'm not sure why the car didn't allow me to downshift first. I think I tried it a bit too early. And I managed to defend P1 coming from the opposition. 104 degrees on the front, left tire, and it is a win, though it wasn't an easy one. Uh, I had to defend the whole of the race. High race track temperature helped me to keep the tires warm. The front left one was even overheating. Uh, 56 degrees was on track.
speed limiter on, 60 km per hour, 59 to be precise. Let's deliver the car to the pit box. We go. That wasn't an easy race. Uh, I didn't have a fastest lap, though I had the pole position, so it's uh, 25 plus one point should be 26 points. 20. Oh, so strange. Two points for the fastest lap because I saw 27 points in the first race when I had both. Uh, so maybe there is. How does the team classification look like? 33. Okay, so we did quite well in this race as a team. Seven, because I don't see my teammate. Eighteenth, no, he didn't do well. Two wins, two podiums. I was fifth at Monaco. Uh, out of podium, out of the win. Uh, 63 points, uh, 20 points over the second one as a team. We are 10 points. Uh, no, we're actually second. I'm driving a Steam Chicken Mobile. Yes, so we are second, losing 10 points. Unfortunately, my teammate is not doing it. Great, uh, I think that's um, enough for today. I did two rounds, uh, two practice sessions, two qualification. I unlock a classic master trophy achievement by finding carriers and love achievement. Okay, perfect. That's great. Uh, I have to start thinking about. Oh my gosh, the next one is Mount Panorama. That is going to be interesting. Great track, love it, but it's not an easy one. Great, it's enough for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you uh, next time. Have a great rest of this day.